Welcome to the messiest room in my house, um, which should be my most frequently used room, but it isn't because I'm so daunted by the overwhelming task of cleaning and organization that has to happen that I've basically not spent any time in here, and it's really sad. But this is my craft room or office or whatever you want to call it. And we'll start off right away with these um, built-in bookshelves I had. I actually designed them for this house when we bought it and had them put in to house specifically a collection of animals I have had since I was like six. And they're called Boyd's Bears and I have so, so many. Um, focus. Sorry, lighting's making it a little crazy. Um, and basically I took down the Christmas ones in like February and never put up any um, spring or summer ones. I, I'm a little five-year-old inside and I, yes, I um, showcase my collections by season. But um, anyway, nothing on those shelves but piles of stuff which shouldn't be there. More piles of stuff that's leftover stuff from my bathroom organization that I either have to return or use somewhere else. So that's what you see when you walk in. Then I have a whole wall of the um, desk countertop and going all the way around the room basically. Um, this was my main computer for a long, long time, this MacBook, and then I just got an iMac, um, the new one, and I've moved everything to, this used to be where I like did all my filing and bill paying and you know, my whole office stuff. But I moved everything now over to here. Um, that's my new computer, isn't it beautiful? The big one, that little one next to it is my Air. Um, travel a lot, so comes in real handy. So I'm making this my like main desk area from now on, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's taking me a long, long time just to decide that, so. I mean, you guys, this is just such a disgrace for me. I feel like really ashamed of how terribly disorganized it is and how I haven't been using this space. Um, that over there is my sewing desk. Um, I bought a sewing machine and took some classes this past year. And I've been really wanting to sew stuff, but because of the mess, I don't want to spend any time in here. So I haven't worked on anything. But, so there's that. And then, um, this here in the middle. And this furniture is all stuff from Pottery Barn. It's the Bedford collection. They still have all of these pieces. And I love this furniture. I picked this out before we moved in. Um, this is the project desk and it's got those cubby holes on either side which I'm not utilizing as well as possible. I have every Martha Stewart Living and Real Simple magazine since like 2005. Not really sure why I'm keeping those but whatever. And then um, these are self-healing mats um, from a Martha Stewart craft line. I love Martha Stewart if you couldn't have guessed that. So. Um, and then just like pens and junk on the top and trash and recycling underneath and two stools which are really cute but uncomfortable to sit in for long periods of time so I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, I'm also missing a chair because I haven't been using that corner desk for a long time so I need another chair and they don't sell this chair anymore unfortunately that's the one thing they don't sell. Then over here with my um, more filing cabinets, so many filing cabinets, and there's just like, I mean, I w I'm not even going to show you, there's stuff, stuff jumbled in those drawers, like, that I've thrown in, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to walk in this room. Those are all my dog books and the stuff I did for research before and after. I got my dog, Winnie, who's napping right there. She also has a little toy bin in here and a little bed, because I like to spend time in here. And then hanging on my wall, I have um, wrapping paper stations which I love, also from Pottery Barn. I do not believe they have those anymore, but look, it still has the winter Valentine's Day wrapping paper. So, <laughs> obviously I haven't used that in a while because it's August. Um, actually, it's practically September. Then on my wall, on those little shelves, I have, um, they're from the same company as my animals, Boyd's Bears, and those are um, little boxes. Um, that I collect and then that is also from Pottery Barn and it's a pinboard 
with um, a built-in speaker. You can see those at the bottom. And then, oh, this is really sad. So that majorly big thing that looks like heavy artillery is um, Winnie's hair dryer, my dog's hair dryer. It's like a professional grooming hair dryer. She hates getting her hair dried, and I have to do it once a week because that's when I bathe her. Um, that just makes it go a lot easier, and I don't need hands to hold it. But I've been drying her up here because it's huge, and I don't know where else to store it. And then hanging on my lamp are dresses I need to fix. So, you know. And then my closet, you guys, it's so sad. So I had my handyman take the door off the closet when we moved in, thinking it would always be so neat and beautiful that you just wouldn't need a door, that you just want to walk in. And it'd be, you know, like, Ugh. now look, it didn't work. I mean, you can see I had a good idea going in. I hung those shelves. Of course, they're alpha. I hung them myself. Um, I try to utilize as much of the closet as possible. Um, I have these fabric storage boxes from Container Store I showed before. They're actually like a German company. And then you can kind of see there's like some, some organization thoughts in here. But then, like, it's just piled, jumbled, stuff, overflow. And it's not even overflow. I'm just not using things well. I'm not using these. Um, these are actually on casters. These um, these are also part of the Alpha line. Um, I don't know what they're called, but they're like rolling wheel drawer carts. <laughs> How specific. But uh, obviously, very sad that I'm not using this space at all, well, even remotely. Um, so that's my office. I, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous room. I picked the best room in the house. Aside from the master for my office, I mean, I, I even have a bathroom. I mean, it's supposed to be a bedroom, you know, but we don't have any children or anybody else living with us at the minute, at the moment, so um, it's got a full bathroom with a shower and everything, and, you know, I painted it a cute yellow color to match the yellow on the tile, but I still need to buy, um, like, shelves or something, and I'm kind of thinking of making this, like, uh, getting one of those standing baths. Uh, tubs for dogs and using this bath this bathroom that shower to wash Winnie because I've been bathing her in the kitchen sink and well nice to be um, have like a, a real dog bath anyway that's my poor craft room which needs a lot of work it's so super cute but um, <laughs> you can see why this project is so overwhelming to me but I'm going to work on it. I'm going to do it, and when I come back, you guys, and show you, I mean, it's going to be in stages, and I'll work in stages, and I'll show you what I do in stages. It's going to look totally different, and at the end, I hope to do a, an after room tour in entirety, you know, at the whole thing when it's done. I have no idea when that'll be. might take me to the end of next year. I don't know, but... Um, I have great aspirations for this room, and I know that I can do it. I can do it. And you guys help me just by watching my videos. So thank you for that. Stay tuned.